So in India, we have skewed sex ratio because we started promoting contraception measure to control population. So, uh, so sex determination is kind of illegal and aborting female child is illegal. So isn't uh, but this by go, go, government's point of view uh, taking control of fetuses and deciding yeah. their fate? So what they're just trying to be as charitable as possible, okay, just trying to steal man as much as possible, is what I would argue is that the government in that instance is saying that what you're actually doing is you are discriminating against an immutable characteristic of this individual. So what you're, you're not, you're not ending the life because of a desire to not have a child. You're ending the life because of a desire not to have a female child. And that's the issue. Just like if, if there, there are many other scenarios that I could come up with like that, but you see what I'm saying? It's, it's the specific discrimination of the sex of the of the uh, the fetus that that the government is trying to crack down on there so they're not saying they're not saying there's a problem with abortions they're saying there's a there's a problem with you specifically um terminating a pregnancy due to not wanting hey my child has blue eyes i don't want a blue-eyed child end its life that's where their argument is a again just trying to be as charitable as possible to them i would yeah assume. but doesn't it really violate the idea that uh, the mother doesn't get to choose uh gender yeah, sex of, i agree uh, that they shouldn't i think they should i think they should stay out of it e no but the, the consequences would be far damaging armin so, so uh, hang on the armin, sex where, ratio is kind of skewed Armin, were you saying that the government should stay out of of saying you can't abort specifically because it's a, a of the sex of the child? Yeah, I think I think you should be able to be like, I wanted a girl. No, I disagree. A boy. Hmm. What? I think I mean it's your it's your body. What the hell are you gonna do? This is a social evil, Armin. Like this is a uh, in uh, India, like especially in villages, like. Yeah, like, I mean you could. You Hey, you can say it's a social evil, but the government can't just come in and just fix every social evil. So I, I put this more in a category of uh, like where in the United States, for instance, just an example, we specifically have passed laws that say that hotels aren't allowed to discriminate against people based on the color of their skin. And one of the reasons that that was the case was because of a... I mean, it's not the same thing. Like, for example, if I say, right, that we're not going to say of you because we don't serve handicapped people here, that would be illegal. But if I say, okay, this, in, this fetus seems to be handicapped, so I don't want a handicapped baby, and you get an abortion, that's allowed. So That's not so, the same thing. So it, you, it, it is, you are correct, I think. Uh, or you could even, I, I think would, you could like, you, you could even check like, okay, does, is the color, I, I wanted would, a blue eye baby. I would, this baby doesn't seem to be blue eye. I want abortion. I think that's, you should be able to do that. Like, so I, I would just was, at least push back and say, I don't think a business is legally allowed. A business open to the public is not legally allowed to say in the, in the United States, if I'm correct, they're not allowed to say you're handicapped or you're black. Therefore we're not serving you. They will lose a lawsuit on that. Um, good. but, but. And I, and I think that's, I think that's right. I think that is right. But then I, I guess I don't understand why, if, if we agree with the government doing it in that instance, why wouldn't we agree in this instance too, when it comes to specific discrimination? Because you're not discriminating some, you're not like at that point, you're not discriminating against anybody's well-being. It's a fetus. It's not like okay, ordering. Well, okay. it's, not order, it's not ordering a steak, and you're denying a steak. Okay. It's yeah. not like it's not. A, it's not aware of any mistreatment. You're not mistreating anybody because they're not even born to be understand and, that they're being mistreated. And I know where where you fall on this. You you don't put that. You you don't have that distinction with the viability, kind of like I do. And so you would. It's just a say fetus. It Who cares about time. a fetus? Yeah, like yeah, I mean, yeah. my I, I mean, at this point, like, should I discriminate against like? I like this plant over that. This plant has more leaves. I wanted in my house. Like, oh, you don't discriminate against plants. Like, why are you being? Well, no, 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 no. That's plant? no, no, no. It's that doesn't. Plant. It's not aware. It's not self-aware. I don't care. <laughs> that doesn't. It matter. doesn't. It doesn't. Oh but, yeah. Well, it's a it's a fetus. It doesn't if, care. But hang on. But there is self-awareness, seemingly after that point of viability. Is it aware is, about being this? Like, is is a fetus complaining? Is it filing a complaint about being discriminated? It's not complaining. Against? But <laughs> so it doesn't it, understand these things. So but it may fine. be self-aware. It may be back in that gray area 
with the AI overlords that are going to take over and stuff later. Like it, it may, yeah. it may be yeah. in a place where it is aware enough, like to, for us to consider it in the calculation of, of a utilitarian calculus. Like it may yeah. be, it may. It's just not at a point where we care about its feelings. It's mm. not at the point where you're like, oh, I wonder mm. if the fetus is like, being upset about the situation. Okay. You're not like it's it's a fetus. Hmm. Okay. It yeah. has less awareness of than my hamster. Okay. So, so yeah. I you so know I, I on what yeah, basis do you decide uh, the fetus uh is perceived to have a life or not? On opinions life, of a lot of people. It has a life it, it, it always had a life. But my, my salad also has a life. I don't care about life. I don't care about life. I care about suffering and pain. And happiness, okay? Life is not important. Uh, so the pain can misery, be demonstrated. Misery, hmm. misery and happiness, that's what's important. If we okay, could show so... that the, the feeling, the, the, the sentience of this thing at a certain point, again, I, I would argue after that 21, 22-ish mark, okay? But like if we could show that the sensation was seemingly the same as a full-grown adult, would you change your calculus at that point or – like if we could Google show that, if, like if I could talk to the fetus, it would like, like no, 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 no just like pain. Like if we stab a person oh. in the arm and we stab a fetus in the arm and they seem if to be it can exactly feel the pain, same. First of all, it can feel pain. Yes. That's why if you do commit, if you do uh, abortion, you have to make sure it doesn't experience pain. So here's the thing. The things that you could feel, anything that causes you misery, specifically those things should be avoided, right? Huh. So for example, if you're a fetus, you don't care about being alive because you don't even know what that life and death means. But you can experience pain. So what I want to avoid is you experiencing pain. I don't want to save your life because you don't care about life. Okay. So you have to commit a, the abortion in a way that the fetus dies without a pain. Because, you know, it's not just about awareness. But what are you aware of? So, for example, pigs, right? They're aware of pain. They're not aware of death. They're aware of pain. So if you kill them, make sure you kill them without pain. But you don't need to save their life. Because they don't even understand what life is. So you don't need to save them from that. So just the misery that you're trying to avoid should be a mis something that actually causes misery for that and, entity. And so yeah. just just to make sure that I'm I'm following you, it's it's Wait, because of make, uh... hang on real quick, Oxy, and I'll get right back. It's because of that view on fetuses not essentially not being a part of that calculation the entire time that they're fetuses before they're born. That's yeah. the reason that you come to the conclusion of I don't think India should say you can't have an abortion if if the reason you're doing it, I, I want to kill the girl. You know what I'm saying? Is That's yeah. the reason that you come back to that is because where you stand, you're saying the fetuses just don't have any part of the calculation ever whatsoever. Yeah. Until okay. the point where that's fetuses come, like, I feel like that's I was mistreated because of being a girl. Until the day where fetuses could come and say, like, we were mistreated because of being a girl. Mm. Until then, I don't care if you're, like, deciding that you're having an abortion. I think I think we, we put ourselves on a in a weird place when we when we are comfortable with people saying i i find out that that this i'm pregnant this fetus is insert any one of those immutable characteristics right you know and and no, because, because of no, that no, no. if if that was the case we would also feel icky if somebody says like i prefer having a girl right because you're like, well, oh, you're yeah, so sexist. We don't think like somebody's well, being okay. sexist. So I yeah, think that's says... a weird. I think that's a weird feeling. I think when people what? feel like that, that's strange to me personally. I, I understand why people feel that way, but I personally think when a parent I don't says think like, that's comparable. I think I think there's a genuine difference between like, okay, you can't have this job because you're a girl, and we don't. I think, and compared to like, I prefer having a daughter over a son. I think, I think there's... these are. These are they're very different <laughs> things. I think right? they're different, yes, but I think I think they're they're on the same spectrum. Like it's the same, it's the same the theme opposite, that run. Okay, on the very opposite ends of the <laughs> maybe, spectrum. There's maybe, <laughs> okay, maybe. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. okay, I'll shut up. Okay, okay. <laughs> Oxymoron. Okay, so I'm about to say something very wild. Oh, I have okay, is it YouTube? Is it against scenario. YouTube community standards? Be uh, careful. That you will have to decide that. It, it's uh, it's sacrifice of uh, certain kind of special animals against uh, uh, YouTube community guidelines. No, no, go on. Animals. Okay. YouTube. So guidelines. if if a, pa a patient is comatose and 
this is uh wait this, this is a is new question we need to go to, okay no, okay, no, no, no. Okay, this, this is, is about the uh, argument. This is about okay, the same make argument. Make it quick because we have to go back uh, to the so, Higgs boson and uh, MMPP. Yeah, so this is a hypothetical uh, scenario. If uh, if certain religious cult uh, thinks it's uh, right to sacrifice humans, and if what? family of uh, that pa uh, certain patient, if certain patient goes in coma and his uh, uh, family members decide that He's in self-aware, so at this point, he doesn't know if he wants to live or die. So would it be uh, their right to sacrifice him? No. So at, the, at that point of time, he isn't aware if he wants to live or not. He's a brain-dead patient. Wait, so we don't know if the patient is self-aware or not? Obviously, if you don't know, you shouldn't be... But Obviously, that could be extrapolated onto fetuses too. Okay, no. Here's the thing. Okay, first of all, even if the per even if we sh were sure that the person is um, not self-aware at that point, okay, uh, we uh, first of all, you don't sa you just if the person's wish was certain wish before they went to that situation. Okay, what we are trying to do is create a, a society where people are um, are not having trauma or about what's going to happen to them in that situation, right? So we have to respect the wishes of the people before they get to that situation. So for example, uh, it's not it, it, what the awareness of the people um, that are experiencing what's happening to people after they die or if they're coma is important as well, right? So for example, you could say, let's say a dead person. You could say like, why can't I have sexual relationship with a dead body without getting consent from that person before they were dead? It's like, on a, it's, uh, it's dead, it's, it has no awareness, right? Well, because a lot of people who are still alive are gonna notice the ability for you to do so and they're going to feel disgusted and traumatized about the possibility of that happening to their dead body when they die, and that they're experiencing that suffer that suffrage and that pain and that stress while they're alive. So you have to take that into account, right? Yeah. Okay, right. So your argument mostly is the general consensus of uh, consensus of people what they think is moral and immoral. Yeah. For example, for example, like, let's say if killing cows right even without pain cause a lot of emotional pain to humans then i would be against killing cows you know what i mean not because of the cows themselves but because of reducing that emotional pain to humans like for example one reason why i would defend the fetus would not because of for the fetus's sake but for the mother if the mother has emotional attachment to a fetus then the fetus has to be protected not for the sake of the fetus but for the sake of the mother, like any any protection of the fetus is through proxy of somebody else that cares about the fetus. What and if uh, human sacrifices don't choose to advertise? What? Say again. So the uh, so if, if it depends on consensus, a lot of people uh, think that baby. It's just not consensus. Like a it's, it's a it's a it's not a consensus. It's a measurement of pain. Yeah, it's it's okay, a okay. So. A, so for ba so people don't really differentiate between a fetus and a baby. No, they do. They actually do. You can see the, the amount of care people have for a, a fetus yeah. before in and out of the uterus like is like significantly different. The moment of birth makes the care that you have for the baby exponentially grow. The fact that mm -hmm. it's out. Anyways, we have to go for uh, to Higgs boson. Oh, Rick Scott, right? You want to add something before we go to? Higgs -Boson? I, I was just going to say that I, you and I come, you and I use a different method on on this discussion to come to very similar stances. Because at the end of the day, you're not interested. I mean, you you're not interested in in making abortion illegal. Neither am I. We are both. We are. We both believe that people should have the right to to make that medical decision with their doctors. Just the way that we come about it is is a different method. And so, w when we talk about these these really nuanced points like this, we 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 have a bit more disagreement and clash than than we do in in reality. Because again, you and I are not campaigning for uh, uh, the stripping of access to abortion you know we, we both agree. oh no i'm i am for increasing access to abortion. right right to, exactly to the, 
to the point of five minutes or two minutes before right. birth. And you you go you you take uh, an extra step for, further for than any where reason. I would. Yeah. For yeah. any reason, any reason at all. Yeah. For the reason that like, you may be like, I'm. You know what? I for even here's here's how far I am pro abortion. Okay. You could have an abortion even if the reason is that I became pregnant just to experience an abortion. I became pregnant just to be able to abort this baby just so because I want to go through abortion. I would just want to see what it's that like. You're Even insane. If that's, you are I, insane. Yeah, we would, you, you and I would, you and I that's would have insane. to have a whole show on that. We would have to have a whole show breaking that apart. Cause I would, so this is funny. I would agree with that up to that point of viability. Such if a person is not shaming. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a very, it's a very dense topic that, that takes, takes a lot for sure. Uh, uh, but yeah, that's, that's all I had to offer. Uh, you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.